It's Sadie here at the Zen Loft. And today I'd like to offer you a sequence, a creative little sequence that I came up with for uh, grounding, hip opening, and toning the lower body and the side abdominals. Um, and probably the whole body too. You know how yoga is. Uh, so we're going to start in downward facing dog. So go ahead and get into your downward facing dog. Well, that put my hair up. So we're going to plant the hands about shoulder distance, the feet hip distance. Hip distance, FYI, is two fist distance apart, approximately for your body, not as wide as the mat. All right. So we're going to be here downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, bring that knee into your chest, core plank and hold, press the hands down and the back foot down, and use the side abdominals or side waist to lift way up high. There you go. And on your exhale now, step the right foot to the right thumb. Take a breath in, look forward, wave the spine long, and exhale, press down to your floor, lift the belly, not just the low back, and start to roll through the front of the spine, Reaching out and up now into your high lunge. We'll take a breath in here, and on the exhale, bring your hands to your heart center at Namaste. From here, we're going to lean forward, press into that front foot, lift through that low belly and sideways. So we're really thinking about making the side ribs buoyant and lifting high, and then lengthening the ribs away from the hips. Warrior three variation. All right, let's pulse this warrior three. Inhale, bend the knees slightly. Exhale, press into the earth and lift that side waist up a little bit. Inhale, bend the knee. That's fun. Exhale, press and lift. Ay, ay, ay. Inhale, you can do this. Exhale through the nose. Hear that Ujjayi breath. Now next time, inhale, bend the knee, bend, bend, bend. Keep the belly lifted, keep it lifted and plant your hands on the floor. If you need to hop back and get on your mat, that's okay. My floor is nice and sticky, so I can stay here in the practice as is. All right, so hands come forward, right underneath the shoulders. Shoulders lean in a little bit. We're going to take three handstand hops here to get off that bottom leg now you're feeling it, I'm sure. Inhale here. Exhale, press to the floor, lift the side waist higher. One. Press to the floor, lift the side waist. So you don't want your low back and your leg going all over the place. Firm that belly in. Exhale, last time, lift it up. And slowly plant the foot back down. Now take a deep breath in here. On the exhale, press, come back to that warrior three. There's that front leg. Bend both knees and slowly begin to rise to standing. Left knee into your chest. Good. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, bend both knees. And plant that left knee over the right for eagle pose. Maybe you want that left foot on the floor right now. Perhaps you can press it into your calf or wrap around. Inhale, reach arms out and up. Right elbow over left. Find the breath. I have to. This is getting hard. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, sit down a little lower. Good. Inhale. Begin to take those elbows towards your front knee. Yeah, you're feeling your front leg. So what are you going to do about it, yogis? <laughs> Breathe louder. Inhale here. Good. Exhale. Now unwind those hands. Plant the fingertips wider than the shoulders. Unwind that left leg. It should feel really good. And open the hips out to Ardha Chandrasana. You can take the left hand to your waist. Right hand maybe needs a block. Or bend the right leg as you do this. Turn the hips open and make sure your bottom leg is externally rotating. Kneecap is turning towards the right so that it's centered over the toes, not to the right, okay? We don't want to go too far. Press the foot down. Roll the side waist up, up, up. And to firm and fire those obliques at the side waist, we're going to contract the side waist up there a little bit. And see if that lifts your fingertips lightly off the floor or lightens them on the floor. Good, take a very deep breath in. Exhale, bend the front knee. Slowly plant the back foot down, warrior two. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Turn the front palm up, reach it back, warrior two. Lower that front leg a little bit. Good, inhale. And on your exhale, cartwheel the hands down. 
Spin the back heel high. Place the knee down. And let's take a side twist over to the right to open up that outer right hip and leg that just works so much for you. Circle your right arm to the sky now. Take that hand behind the back. Yummy half by here. And roll your right shoulder onto the back too. Now don't totally like lose it in the hips right now. Okay, we want to stay buoyant and lifted. So we get some muscle action happening there. Curl your tailbone. Wave long through the spine and spin from the bottom sideways higher. If you want, you can progress on towards our reverse triangle variation by lifting the back knee. If that feels good to you, start to stretch the front leg straighter. And at that time, perhaps the right arm wants to reach up. And you take a nice deep breath in. And on the excess, spin the bottom rib cage towards the sky. Deflate the top ribs a little bit and lengthen the bottom ones. Keep that mountain pose alignment. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take the outer right hip down, 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 down. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Brilliant. Release to the floor. Take your downward facing dog. Walk in place. That should feel nice. Let's all inhale together through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Take your tongue out. Ha! The lion's pose. Soften the shoulders. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Ha! Go for it. Inhale. Let something go. Ha! There it is. All right. <laughs> Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, curl that tail and wave yourself forward, plank pose. Nice, pretty wave. And exhale, lower it down. Knees down or up, chaturanga. Plant your hips down, curl the tailbone. Inhale, wave up. Stretch the side waist. Exhale, keep the toes pointed. Press down and firm up that side waist into pointed plank. Good. Keep lifting through pointed plank. Turn the toes. So your obliques are helping you press back. 